The table summarizes results from 976 pedestrian deaths that were caused by automobile accidents. Notice how the table indicates whether the pedestrian was intoxicated as well as whether the driver was intoxicated. If one of the pedestrian deaths is randomly selected, find the probability that the pedestrian was not intoxicated or the driver was intoxicated. So in this case, we're trying to determine the probability of a union of two events, and because these two events can occur at the same time, the two events are not mutually exclusive, and therefore we'll apply the probability formula given here below, where if it is possible for two events to occur at the same time, the events are not mutually exclusive, and therefore the probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And we'll see in this problem why we have to subtract this probability here. So to set this up, we'll say the probability the pedestrian was not intoxicated or the driver was intoxicated is equal to the probability the pedestrian was not intoxicated plus the probability that the driver was intoxicated and then minus the probability the pedestrian was not intoxicated and the driver was intoxicated. Now we'll determine each of these probabilities. So to begin, we'll determine the probability the pedestrian was not intoxicated. And notice how we can determine that information from this column here. This column indicates the number of pedestrians that were not intoxicated. And since 82 plus 606 is equal to 688, the probability that the pedestrian was not intoxicated would be 688 divided by the total number of deaths, which is 976. And then we have plus the probability that the driver was intoxicated. And notice how this row here indicates the number of drivers that were intoxicated. And therefore the probability that the driver was intoxicated would be equal to 62 plus 82, which is 144, divided by 976. But notice how in these two probabilities, we counted these 82 deaths twice. And these 82 deaths were when the pedestrian was not intoxicated and when the driver was intoxicated. And this is the reason why we have to subtract this last probability, which again is the probability that the pedestrian was not intoxicated and the driver was intoxicated, which would be 82 divided by 976. Now let's go ahead and express this probability as a simplified fraction, decimal, and percent. So let's go to the calculator. Notice how we already have a common denominator. So the numerator is going to be, in parentheses, 688 plus 144 minus 82, and all this is divided by 976. So we'll press enter. This gives us a decimal approximation, but if we press math enter enter, this gives us a simplified fraction, which is 375 over 488. So this would be the exact probability. But the directions do ask us to enter a percentage rather to one decimal place. So we'll first convert this to a decimal. And because we want the percent to be to one decimal place, we'll have to round the decimal to three decimal places. So going back to the calculator, Notice how this would be approximately 0 0.768. So approximately 0 0.768. Converting to a percentage, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign. Remove the decimal point to the right two places, giving us approximately 76.8%. I hope you found this helpful.